Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all new to the channel, welcome. I am Dr. Ghost and today we are going to be featuring a double feature. One match in the Fubuki and another one in the Yabari. So yeah, I hope y'all do enjoy it. Now these are going to be some pretty quick games. The first one is going to be an interesting one. We'll get into it here in a second. And the second one is just going to be a nice little Yabari game. I do like to show off some lower tier games, not just higher tiers like most of the content creators out there do. I like to show everything. I like to give all tiers some love here on the channel. And yeah, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this one. Now, I'm sure most of you guys know that I'm not much of a Japanese destroyer player, um, mainly because the, the play style of them is something that I'm not really a big fan of. They're pretty one dimensional. Um, all you're doing is just torping, and if you are viewing the channel long enough, you guys should know by now that I love Gunboat DDs. Now, I don't mind the Akazuki. That thing's very fun. I like that quite a bit. Yukikaze is pretty good as well. Um, even the Hayate can be. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't usually touch the whole torpedo boat thing very often with the Japanese destroyers. However, this match is going to be pretty cool. We're going to have a, a, a pretty good match here, and it's only going to last about six minutes. Um, if you guys could probably guess what will happen, um, that'd be awesome. But, hey. So, essentially, what we're going to be doing is getting a Bravo. We're going to get this cap, and then we're going to just YOLO. <laughs> I don't usually recommend ever YOLOing. Um, in any destroyers, mainly because number one, it's usually a waste. Um, you're much more useful in a match if you you live longer. If you can actually manage to get on the broadsides of people and just keep raining torpedo salvos out every minute, um, yeah, you're a lot more useful. If you just go straight in and YOLO though, oh, you're wasting your ship. I, I really do think that honestly. Now, right off the bat, we torpedo. Um, we torpedo, it looks like the enemy Nurnberg, and down he goes, we're up to 22,000 damage, two torpedoes hit already, first blood award, very nice indeed. Now, I'm really wanting to shoot my guns here, so I'm actually going to start popping off some of these 5-inch guns. Now, you got to remember, the Japanese have guns too, and they do hit pretty damn hard. You've got six 127mm Japanese HE shells that shoot every 10 seconds. Remember, you got guns in your Japanese destroyers, folks, use them once a while. You know, a lot of people forget that, and... I think I need to, you know, emphasize that more. You know, you've got guns. Use them. Like, for example, enemy Fubuki right here. And I am absolutely smacking the crap out of him. And he's already at set on fire. He's turning away. And he's not even bothering to shoot at us. He's just running away. He needs to shoot his guns. But he's not. And boom! We hit him for 3,000 damage there. Like, shoot your guns once a while. Like, he's not even looking at me. I, I don't know. I don't understand that. Why don't people in their Japanese destroyers shoot their guns more? You got some pretty decent little guns. Use them. Anyway, <laughs> enough talking about that. We absolutely wrecked the Fubuki, bringing our damage up to 32,000. Now, he's not dead, but we did absolutely wreck him. Now, we're going to send two racks of torpedoes towards where that uh, that New Mexico and that Fubuki is. And we're going to send one around the island towards that Bayern. I'm hoping that I'm going to hit some torpedoes here. Now, I have a choice here. Do I just sit here or do I move around the island? And I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I'm like, do I just sit here and wait for my torpedoes to hit? And I think that's what I do. I'm just going to sit here and watch these torpedoes and see what happens. Now, that that first set of racks, uh, racks of torpedoes look pretty good. They're on a pretty good course. And it looks like I might get two hits right on them. Maybe three, but I don't think so. But it looks like for, for sure I'm getting two torpedo hits on that enemy Tennessee. There's one for 10,200 and there's another one for 10,200. And since they're Japanese torpedoes, I cause a flood. And speaking of causing a flood, there's two more on the Bayern. And we got a flood as well in an incapacitation. We just absolutely smacked the crap out of both of those battleships. And they're not having a good time. They're, they are just not having a good time at all. Tennessee, I'm trying to get a fire on them because I, got, I did get a double flood. So if I can get a follow-up fire, that would be fantastic. Bayern goes down, the enemy, um, uh, the, the friendlies managed to take him out, our friendly Bayern there. Or no, actually, a different Bayern went down. Um, that Bayern over there is still alive, okay? And we did just get a follow-up fire on that New Mexico, or that, um, that Tennessee, rather. Now I'm trying to get a follow-up fire on that Bayern. Remember, guys, you have guns! I don't know how much I need to say this, but just because you're a torpedo boat does not mean you can't use your 5-inch guns, especially if you're in a smoke screen or if you're behind an island. 
Um, now, don't be stupid and use your guns 24-7 and keep yourself spotted. No, no, no. But if you have an opportunity to get a free shot off once in a while, I'll take it because you're just wasting damage, you know? You're just you're throwing potential damage out the window. And just like that, I mean, we got a follow-up fire on the Tennessee, you know, just because I shot my guns. Like I said, guys, don't be afraid to use your guns here and there. You, you'll be surprised sometimes. You'd be surprised. Now, I'm making a mistake here. I should not be doing this, but... I've done my job up to this point. I torpedoed a cruiser, torpedoed another cruiser, torpedoed two battleships. Um, I've done pretty damn good up to this point. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to come around here and just send my torpedoes. And they look pretty good. Hayuga's not even caring about me. He just shot at somebody else. Torpedoes look excelente. I'm turning away. I'm trying to disengage here. I'm on no HP. Cruiser absolutely smacks the crap out of me. Crap out of me. But speaking of cr smacking the crap out of people, we just hit all of our torpedoes. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, six out of the nine torpedoes on the Hayuga. That's a devastating strike. That's a high caliber confederate. We're up to two kills. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes that Fabuki game. What a match, huh? What a freaking match. 135,000 damage. We'll take it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we did pretty good in that game. Although, you know, we kind of YOLO'd a little bit. But, hey, we'll take it. Now, here's another match. Um, tier three, Yabari. Now, the Yabari is an interesting little cruiser. It is right now in the store for 900 doubloons, and I managed to pick it up. I was like, you know what? Screw it. It's only 900 dubs, five bucks. Who cares, right? So I picked this thing up along with the Sharn Horse and stuff. Wink, wink. There might be a video in the future for that. Keep an eye out, guys. But, um, yeah. So now we've got a match here in the Yabari, and what we're going to be doing is just doing some tier three, tier three things. There's nothing super spectacular uh, that's going to happen in this game. However, one thing I want to point your guys' eye to is this little consumable in the bottom left. That would be our lovely, lovely, um, uh, our defensive AA. And you guys are probably wondering, how the heck does a tier three have a defensive AA? Well, that's a unique thing to the Yabari. And we're going to absolutely crap on this carrier's planes. So it's going to be pretty funny. But we're also going to do some other things too. We're not just going to shoot down planes. We're actually going to do some stuff as well. And we're going to do some pretty good damage and uh, whatnot. So there you guys go. Now, Carrier's already sending his planes in. Eight kilometers out. They're coming in. It's an enemy comm simulets. So here very shortly, we're going to get some AA action. Now, we're going to start getting these 140 millimeter guns out on that enemy Wyoming. I'm trying to get a fire here. And this thing does have pretty good fire chance. And the guns are very accurate. So I'm trying to utilize them pretty well here and just like that we hit him twice 100 uh 1500 damage and we get a fire with the second salvo bringing our damage up to 3400 now right off the bat we popped our defensive aa and our planes are their planes are just getting absolutely taken down uh four kills already that's all four of his planes down he just lost the whole entire squadron to that dfaa very very nice indeed now we're starting to get our guns here bared on this enemy campbelltown Campbelltown, Tier 2 British Destroyer, um, getting absolutely wrecked right now. And you got to remember, these Yabari guns are laser beams. Now, the only thing you have to worry about in, like, the Yabari or in most light cruisers is just, you know, watching for incoming salvos from large caliber AP shells. This thing is definitely a delicate flower. If any sort of high caliber AP hits you, center mass there's a good chance you will get absolutely nuked. So you got to be careful. you got to be using some of your speed and maneuverability to your advantage. you got to be using island cover, um, kiting away, that kind of thing. Um, YOLOing in is not a very good idea, at least in these kind of cruisers here that have no armor. But just like that, we get our first blood. Down goes that enemy, Campbelltown. Destroyer threat, gone. Fantastic. Now, Wyoming out here, still uh, looks like he got set on fire by somebody else, so he's not having a fun time. Now, it looks like this Svetlana is wrecking our uh, destroyer a little bit, so I'm going to help him out and get some HE downrange on him, maybe set a fire, and uh, just ultimately support our ships here. He actually just did manage to take down one of our cruisers as well. Um, so, yeah, we need to take this guy out. He's, he's causing a big problem for my team, and now he's absolutely wrecking our destroyers, so we need to get this guy off the board because he's just he's solo taking out all of our poor little... little uh, little seals here <laughs> so we need to get this guy off the board and hopefully save our freaking teammates um but unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be able to save him fast enough because he might manage to take out our destroyer i don't know now enemy aircraft coming in once again um Komsomolets dropping bombs on the destroyer he misses however the svetlana does not miss and down goes our little destroyer there rip to him but uh yeah we're starting to shoot down some of his planes very nice indeed now 
what I'm doing here is I'm getting some shots downrange at this Wyoming. I'm trying to get a fire on them. Um, and yeah. And here very shortly, um, once I get a fire on them, hopefully I will switch my target over to the Svetlana because, well, I need to take him down. And then the carrier gets spotted, so I'm like, screw it. We're going to pop some shots off at him. Svetlana is still kind of behind the island, so I'm like, I wasn't shooting earlier, but now he's coming back out. So I am going to start getting some of our guns to bear here, and we absolutely smack him, get a fire, get another fire right after the first fire, and down he goes. There we go. That's our second kill of the game. 32,000 damage. We're doing pretty damn good up to this point. Remember, we're, we're not playing like a complete doofus, though. We're not just charging in and dying. We're, you know, we're turning. We're dodging shells if we can. We're using our speed and our maneuverability to our advantage. Now, unfortunately, my engine was knocked out, but hey, what can we do? And it looks like that Wyoming goes down. Friendly Yubari burns him down and gets an arsonist medal. Congratulations to him. Very nice indeed. And yeah, just like that, this match has basically turned into a win. Now, yeah, it's just a tier 3 game, so nothing too spectacular. But even at these lower tiers, you know, it's it's good to just, if you're not really that good at the game yet, if you don't understand what it, what you need to do to win, um, these lower tiers, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, it's, it's, a good, it's a good area to play. You know, to figure out how to play. Because it's a lot of other people just starting out. And it's it's a lot more, you know, forgiving down here, I'd say. Now, just like that, we're actually managing to pull off some Citadel hits with high explosive, funny enough. Um, yeah, that Kamsa Mullets is not having a good time at all whatsoever. Um, and yeah, just like that, we're up to 48,000 damage. Just with our guns. I mean, that's it. Like, just with our little guns. We're up to 40. 9,000 damage and that's pretty fantastic in a tier 3 cruiser if you don't mind me saying so and uh, Once again another Citadel with high explosive um, And the reason why I'm getting Citadels with the high explosive is because of the fact that those carriers um, Those tier 3 carriers in particular are very lightly armored and honestly It's not even that uncommon to Citadel carriers up at tier 5 even with HE now We get our high caliber metal 57,000 damage in very nice indeed Komsomolet's not having a good time. He's almost dead. And very shortly, he will eventually succumb to his injuries. He's on fire. He's still getting pummeled by these Japanese 140mm HE shells. And very shortly, he's going to succumb to his injuries. And just like that, we get another fire. He is currently double fired. And down he goes. That's our third kill of the game. And just like that, we're up to 64,000 damage, high caliber, first blood, we've got three kills, two citadels with HE, 11 planes shot down, and we're about to get some more. We've got some fires. We did all the stuff in this game. We did our job, we helped our ships out as best as we could with that Svetlana. And I think that's pretty important, guys. You know, if you guys are just starting out the game, I highly suggest coming down to these lower tiers and playing the crap out of them, figuring out everything, figuring out how everything works, and slowly work your way up. Um, it, it, I can't stress that enough. But with all that being said, I'm glad if you guys sticked in this far. If you guys did, leave a comment saying that uh, you've been here <laughs> since the start of the video. I appreciate it very much. You guys are freaking awesome. The support lately is just awesome. And I can't thank you guys enough once again. But with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to do it for this match and this video. I hope you all did enjoy it. And if you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you guys thought of it. I do look forward to hearing back from you guys. And as always, peace out, stay healthy, and happy New Year's. See you on the next one.